So now I want us to be able to judge the warmth that's going to be happening in this piece by putting in the blue on the background. So if we start with some of the blue, but we don't want it to be you know, too blue, so we're just going to knock it down a bit with the burnt sienna. Lighten it slightly with the white. So it's quite a, um, a dull blue. Just a bit more. So when you're putting in the colour inside um, the negative space of the handle, just have a really good check at the shape. It's a great, a great place to check how your drawing is on your piece. Okay, great, and you can start to see already how the shape of the jug is starting to come out. We haven't really painted that much. We painted a, a scrubby blue on the background, and then these blocks of dark and a little bit of light, but you can still start to see how this shape is, is coming out. We know that the painting is going to work really well. So if you notice on parts of your painting, any parts you start to see too much of the underpainting coming through, I'm just going to put a bit more of that dark just to emphasise that shadow side just so that's nice and solid. Okay, now we're going to put some of these shadow areas in here next to the jug and just in the background. So we can start off with the dark colour. So we've got a bit lighter than the dark, but not massively. Just have a look on the actual painting. So it's quite watery the mix that I'm putting in, just so that you can help 
judge your eye to see if you need to go darker or lighter on this shadow area that you're painting in. What you'll find is that often when you're trying to mix or match a colour, when you're just using a very, very limited palette, is you won't be able to mix it exactly. What you're just aiming for is to try and get something that is very, very close in tone to it, not necessarily something that is the absolutely precise colour. Because of the limitations of the pigments that we're using, you won't be able to get something exactly right with the right degree of punch, or it might go a bit greeny or blue, but you've just got to get used to working just with these couple of paints and just see how far you can push them and how much of a painting you can create just using two colours. So now for this ground colour we're just going to mix a few greys just with these pigments. So if you start off with a bit of the burnt sienna Notice how it goes very peach when you start to add white into it. So when you compare it to that, it's you know really far, far too peach, so we've really got to cool it down. So we start to add some of the blue to it. So it's a nice pale blue, but you'll start to see if you put that on here, it looks really, you know, it looks too blue. We don't want it that blue, we want it more of a neutral. It's so good to work between these two colours just to get practice in neutralising your pigments. Okay, that's quite a nice warm grey. Use him. Just add a bit more of the blue to him. You know, just to cool him down. Just put a bit more pigment out. Just take a bit of the lighter colour that we've got, the warmer one. Notice it's a bit warmer on this part. next to the cooler darker blues, that darker bluey grey. Starts to go darker still. Add a bit of fat into it. still wet on parts, I can just work some of the white straight on top of it. a bit darker on this foreground area. It's often handy to have a darker edge or a darker corner on your paintings. It just helps to send your eye back into the piece. It doesn't have to be very much, 
but it just helps it so instead of your eye falling off here, the darker side just kind of pushes your eye back in. It's a bit warmer on this foreground part. Quite sketchy, I'll keep some of that underpainting there. And this, you know, does darken off into this area here. start to judge how our tones are going and say okay I need to darken off that a bit put this dark area inside inside the actual jug and then we can start to bring in some of that real warmth of the burnt sienna and start to see how our tones are working I want to swap back to your um, your round brush just for any of these details just kind of keep those edges just keep it a little bit soft okay great now we can start to add some of that stronger burnt sienna into the jug and start to build on our painting from here this is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. Make sure you subscribe above. It's free to subscribe so you don't miss out on the final part of this still life video.